Welcome to Lesson 1.4's Math Moment. Today we talked all about comparing fractions. Um, one simple strategy that we taught students for comparing fractions is called the butterfly method. And I'm going to show you how to um, use the butterfly method on all three of these problems to decide which fraction is larger or which fraction is smaller. So the first problem is 7 ninths and 8 tenths. And this circle here is just where you put the comparison symbol to show which one is larger or smaller. So over here, we draw butterfly wings, that's what we call them, around the um, numbers that are diagonal from each other. So we connect 7 and 10 in the butterfly wings and 9 and 8. What you do after that step is you multiply the two numbers that are in the wings. So the first two numbers would be 7 and 10. 7 times 10 is 70, so I write it on top of that butterfly wing. 9 times 8 is 72, so I write it on top of that butterfly wing. Then all I have to do is decide which number is larger, 70 or 72. 72 is a little bit larger, so that means that 8 tenths is the larger fraction. And I'm going to put my greater than sign towards the 8 tenths. So again, another example using the butterfly method, I've got one-third and two-sevenths. I'm going to draw butterfly wings around the two diagonal numbers. One times seven is seven. Three times two is six. I ask myself which one is larger, seven or six. Seven is just a little bit bigger. So therefore, one-third is the larger fraction and I draw my greater than symbol towards the one-third. This also works when you're comparing fractions in a word problem. So this example is below. It says Evan and Joseph are reading the same novel. Evan has read two-fifths of the book, and Joseph has read three-sevenths of the book. Who is closer to finishing the book? So to solve this problem, we'll find out which one is larger, two-fifths or three-sevenths, using our butterfly method. I draw the wings around the diagonal numbers. 2 times 7 is 14. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 is just one bigger than 14, but that means that 3 sevenths is larger, and that means that Joseph has read more of the book since he has read 3 sevenths of the book. And he is closer to finishing the book. Good luck with Lesson 1.4. If you have any questions about um, comparing fractions, make sure to ask your teacher.